what happened was I laid down and I felt this warmth of nothing but pure energy and love that I had felt as a little boy. And the three times that my mother almost succeeded in killing me by beating me was when spiritual entity had wrapped around me. Up to that point, I took it as angels. No, I didn't see wings. I didn't see any of that. But I felt the love and the energy. There was no form. So I, I wasn't scared. And next thing I know is I'm in a, the best way to put it is I'm in this white light. And we're talking mentally. Words are not being said at all. But I immediately know I'm where I belong. I am with what is now my father, my source of where I come from and all humans come from. And I am shown my pain. I am shown what's happened to me in the past. And it's all within a flash, but I understand it. I'm shown information volumes. I understand it all, math, history, you, whatever you want to call it, I understood it all. From as far back as I wanted to remember, and that's what I was told, as far back as you want to remember, to eternity, the word I use. And then I'm shown nine different lives, and I understand those lives. And I understand that who I'm looking at is me, as a spirit, as a soul. Not a human being, but as a soul. And they're not all human form. Now, while I'm there, I'm in total peace. I'm in light. I'm not separate from the other lights or energies. Some people would say they look like a light bulb. Some people would say they look like a uh, looking out of your vision, a, a, a form, which I still see sometimes. But... To me, we were all part of the source, different levels of source. Some were brighter than the others, but they were all focused towards the main energy. Now I'm feeling now, and it's gonna sound weird, but I'm feeling that I'm a higher energy at that point because there's people under me and there's people that a tentative wanting me to be at peace and are pushing me to closer to the source of, of energy. I don't want to leave. I feel nothing but pure love. I feel nothing. I feel no pain, no anguish, no emotions for the first time in my life. Ever. The only thing I can equate it to after the fact would be the three times that my mom almost succeeded in killing me. So I'm, I'm not wanting to come back. Now to me, this is a, a flash in the pan. This is me coughing and it's done. And I'm told by the, the, the higher energy that you're not done. You haven't done what you set out to do. And I'm like trying to find out what that is. I want to know what that is. And they show me what that is, but I'm told as soon as, you, as soon as you're back in your body, you won't remember it. You, this is already in your subconscious. You already know this. And they're like, I'm like, I don't want to go. To me, I'm begging not to, not to come back. I'm told I can stay. And, and that's when whatever this higher spirit is, for lack of a better word, because it's not spirit, it's energy, it's light, showed me what I should be doing and said, you can move beyond it.
but you have not finished what you said you wanted to learn because this is your last time on earth as a, as a human. I came back. I've never regretted it. I've never once regretted not staying. I had the choice. Once I realized where I was at, and Mary was my second wife's name, and I told her this, she knew, she knew that, that, because to me it was, did I have a mental breakdown? Did I lose my mind? You know, all the brainwashing, if you will, of religion and stuff that I've been taught by this aunt that was trying to save my soul, by the aunt that took me to, uh, one was a Nazareth and a Baptist. The other one took me to the Catholic Church. Well, I had enough of the Catholic Church when I was in Catholic Church. And then the other one was a Holy Roller, you know, this kind of stuff. You know, I'd seen a lot. And then I studied religion trying to understand it, right? Because I realized, for me, none of that held truth. From that moment on, the Bible became a man-written book. Then I started studying theology. Then I started studying spirituality. Then I, I dug up everything I could find. And back in those days, it was a library. But guess what? I had a library in the Army. I had the Book of Congress in the library, in the Army. I started researching every single chance I got. And I found my truth. And my truth is... I am not going to believe in a God that punishes or a God that gives favoritism. I believe in my heart what I saw is what we we're all about. And it's not just here on earth. But that's my truth. Other people's truths are for them. And each entity is going to have their own requirement and what, what, they, what their level of belief is. Well, I figured, okay, now I've been shown this and I know I have a higher calling, meaning... I'm not, I'm not looking at a higher calling as I'm better than other human beings because we're all the same. We're all spirits in a body. I have a higher calling of going through the abuse. I went through the abuse for a reason, and I understand that now. So now I've got to change me. I've got to change the facade, if you will. I've got to change the man, the human form, and I've got to find my path. I gotta, I gotta find what's true, what's true for me.